sorry about that, babe. Alright guys, welcome back to another unboxing. This time we're going to be taking a look at a game that I haven't, uh... I should have got to this a while ago. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's Shining Force CD on the Sega CD. Now, as you can probably expect, if you know anything about this game, there's not going to be a whole lot to look at. So, uh, probably the majority of the time is going to be spent uh, reading. Because realistically, all that's in here is going to be the case, the manual, the game, and the foam. But let's take a look at the back here. Prepare to do battle. Join the Shining Force in their valiant struggle to beat back the power-mad King Iam and his invading army. To defeat his evil horde and save the Kingdom of Cyprus, it will take cunning strategy, magic spells, and even hand-to-hand -hand combat. Combines the best of Shining Force series into four complete role-playing adventures with over 50 battles all in one CD. Play up to 12 characters at a time from over 20 unique classes including Sniper, Berserker, and Paladin. Promote characters to gain more power and wield even deadlier weapons. Includes an original CD soundtrack and enhanced graphics. Also utilizes a CD backup RAM cart, which is recommended because this is a memory hog, especially if you play all over, uh, you know, the four different scenarios or books as they're referred to in this game. Uh, if you guys want to see my playthrough or my review, I'll make sure to link everything in the description below for you. Uh, the review actually got pretty decent traction because I guess this appeared on like New Genesis or Sega CD Mini or something. I don't really know. I don't buy that stuff, so. Um, here you have the foam that keeps helps keep the game in place, basically. And here is the uh, CD itself. It's got a very interesting, like, salmon pink hue to it. I don't know. Yes, again, this is all authentic, by the way. Uh, I don't have fake shit in my, uh, in my collection. I got this on eBay, I don't know, probably close to 8, 9, 10 years ago at this point. Got it for 70 bucks, I think, back then. Great deal, huh? Here's an advertisement for the CD Backup RAM cart. Um, I have one, it's not the official Sega CD one, it's an aftermarket one, but I did uh, need to utilize it to play through, so. And here you have the instruction manual, uh, and we're gonna read about, I think we're gonna read about the Menace of Iam here. With the defeat of Dark Dragon by Guardiana's Shining Force, the land of Rune became peaceful once again. At last, the residents were able to carry on with their daily lives, planting crops, reading and enjoying the Sunday afternoon jousting matches. Decades have passed and the original Shining Force members have gone their separate ways, some to new adventures in distant lands and others to more peaceful pursuits back home. Henri, Shining Force's most powerful mage, debatable, has been elected <laughs> ruler of Rune and spent many years rebuilding Guardiana, restoring it to its former glory. But evil forces once again rise out of the mist of the darkness. The neighboring kingdom of Cyprus has sown the seeds of Rune's destruction. I am the Grand Wizard, has turned his powers to the task of bringing the I am Demon out of Hades and into Rune. The time it will take uh, the combined forces of Guardiana and Cyprus to stop I am from unleashing the demon on the people of Rune. So there you have it. If you're wondering why I was reading so fast, it's because I do the voiceovers after the fact, and I never know how long it's going to take. <laughs> There's been times where I get cut off. Um, so here you got the, uh, the standard stuff as far as like the buttons and starting up a new game. And I will admit actually, it's worthwhile reading through here, uh, not just about the difficulty, but as far as making saves and swapping between books and stuff, it actually is mildly confusing. If I remember correctly, I had a little bit of trouble getting it started. Um, here you're going to get into, you know, typical Shining Force stuff, going over character information, uh, different option boxes they are going to be throughout. They all have, the, you know, that animated look to them. Everything is very Shining-like, if you will. Uh, you know, raising people, promoting speed of the messages, uh, curing people that are, I believe, poisoned and cursed, right? So, yeah. Got that pretty cool uh, Shining aesthetic to it. Obviously, Shining Force CD is not my favorite Shining game by any means, but it's still, uh, it's still a good one. And here... We're continuing on with uh, different item options. Again, mo more of the same if you're familiar with the series. You know, use, equip, uh, equip, excuse me, drop and give. Uh, going over the saving options as well as the member options. You could actually set some of your characters to auto battle. Here we're going over the different options that you could choose in battle. Aside from obviously just attacking. You could stay, you could search, there's lots of searching for items and things on the battlefields in these games because there are no segments for town and world exploration. And continuing on here, we have a eh, pretty good breakdown of various Shining Force members. If I remember correctly, I don't think this has obviously every single character in the game uh, spanning over the two books, but I guess we'll see. Um, this is primarily uh, the starting characters, starting-ish characters of book one. 
some good ones in here. The one thing that I will say about Shining Force CD, it's definitely easier than Shining Force and Shining Force 2 and Shining Force 3 for that, for that matter. Um, I find that it's super easy to grind and level up and you don't even really need to. Um, almost everybody's usable to a certain extent. There's very few like uh, poopy characters, if you will. Continuing on here. Okay, so yeah, we do have, that's book two, uh, Diana. The Cypress leader, so yeah, they give you the first few characters for each book, which is pretty cool. It would be nice if this was in color, but I mean, to my knowledge, I think most, if not all, Sega CD manuals weren't. Um, but you know, just because it is a Shining game, it would have been sick if it was uh, went the extra mile, so to speak. Although I don't really know how it would look with the, uh, the background overlays there. But uh, now we're getting into the weapons and magic spells. As always, magic is very useful, but again, I will admit, compared to Shining Force 1 and 2, I, in general, I felt like the magic was not nearly as good in this one as it is in those games. It's very OP, especially in Shining Force 1 and 2. Uh, it was definitely a step down, in my opinion. And here are the, uh, basically healing monk-type spells, you know, boosting, all that type of stuff. Uh, talking about retreating, and if you manage to be defeated, which again, meh, I, I will say that there are a couple of tough battles, like mostly the ones towards the very end. Obviously, book four is very difficult, um, but for the majority of the time, you probably won't be defeated. And you won't even, maybe you won't even need this, who knows? You might not even need to know what happens when you're defeated. Uh, going over the various help that you can get from headquarters, there are the, uh, the starting force members from both of the books, as I discussed earlier. Um, kind of just a little, uh, image medley, I guess, if you will. But, uh, the tips on the side are relatively good, especially for newcomers. For people like me, nah, I didn't even bother reading it. And in the back here we have a notes section, limited warranty, and the registration card, which looks like somebody started filling out back in the 90s. And then, I don't know if they didn't finish, they didn't have the money for postage or whatever, but... There you have it guys, like I said, that's basically all there is to it, what you see here. Authentic copy, very expensive nowadays, great game, check out my review and playthrough, and stay tuned for more unboxings. Take care.